What's good, my beautiful kings and queens? It's I, when you boy, to your favorite British locked YouTuber. If this is the first time that you're watching a video of mine, welcome to this channel. Please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you're notified every single time that I upload. If you're on audio and you've come back to watch this face of mine, thank you so much for returning. I love you so much and I really do appreciate your continuous support. I hope you're all doing amazingly well. I'm doing really, really good. I don't know if the camera's gonna capture it well, but I'm sweating. I'm really sweating, I'm really hot. I know it looks like I'm naked on camera, I promise you I'm not, I'm wearing an African wrap. At the time of me filming, it's currently 35 degrees in London. And London or UK houses are not built for the heat. So my house is like an oven. I am sweating. I'm filming right next to my window. I've had to leave the window open because I cannot come and collapse on camera so I really do apologize if you end up hearing all of the noise coming from outside I'm so so sorry about that in advance but it was either that or not film any content and I was really eager about filming content today now today's video I'm gonna start off with this amazing quote yeah because I love this quote so much of course I am not worried about intimidating men the type of man who will be intimidated by me is exactly the type of man I have no interest in. And that quote is by the beautiful, the gorgeous Chimamanda Adechie. I love that quote so much because you know what? That sums up everything that I'm basically going to briefly talk about in this video. Now, a lot of you watching this video already kind of know how I'm like. This is the first time you're watching a video of mine. I would say... I'm bold, I'm confident, I'm very open, and I'm also very opinionated. I'm also very strong-minded as well. I don't take rubbish, period. Now, if you follow me on social media, Twitter to be precise, I tweet about a variety of things. Sometimes I tweet about my random thoughts, sometimes I may tweet about sex, relationships, dating apps, how I feel about men, my experiences with men, amongst many other things. And I'm very direct and I'm very bold in my thoughts. I don't sugarcoat anything. This notion that as a woman, when you've got an opinion, you need to express it in a certain way, you need to word it in a certain way, you need to say it in a certain way. No, not in my world. I don't subscribe to that notion at all. I've also got a podcast called Henny No Chaser as well. At time of filming this, I'm filming this video on the 10th of August. We currently haven't been recorded because of COVID. However, this video is going to come out in September at some point. We are going to be back in September. So I'm really looking forward to that. But even on that podcast, I talk about a variety of things. Sex, relationships, my previous experience. Like, for example had an experience with a partner and he had erectile dysfunction and on top of that even though i was very patient in regards to that situation how he would treat me how he would talk to me was in a very disrespectful unacceptable matter therefore i broke up with him and after breaking up with him i have vowed i have vowed to never ever ever allow such a situation like that to run again especially when somebody cannot take any accountability somebody cannot what's the word somebody cannot admit that there is an issue and on top of that share certain views that just don't don't work well with me anyways i digress one thing that i've been being asked quite often recently by men of course is am i not scared that with my mind frame and the things that i talk about and how i word it am i not scared about scaring men away now i'm gonna just be direct with this as an alpha woman and what i mean by that is i'm straight up I'm confident, I'm in tune with myself, I know myself, I know what I want, I know what I don't want, I'm opinionated, I'm never one to shy away from expressing myself and also I'm never one to shy away about being open about certain situations that I've been in, certain things that I've experienced because I know that by me being open and sharing certain things it may help somebody that is going through something that I've previously been in. As that type of woman I do not understand why I will be scared about scaring men away. Just like the quote that I just read out said, the type of woman that I am 
if a guy's intimidated by me, I don't want that guy. I don't want men that are intimidated by me. If anything, if you're intimidated by me, that's fantastic. Because that means that you'll leave me the hell alone, basically. I don't want a man that is going to force me to dim my shine. I don't want a man that's going to feel like he has to put me in place. I don't want a man that feels some type of way about me being confident and something like that happened in my last relationship where this guy knew that i was confident within myself but he would always make comments or make digs about my figure he would make digs about things that i was upset with if he had said something that i found offensive and i'd expressed that i was upset with it he would say things like i'm too sensitive i can't take a joke he can't joke around me and all of that that is not the man that i am trying to attract if men like that come across me and they are scared to approach me that is fantastic because that means that they allow for somebody that is on my level mentally and spiritually to then come my way i believe that people ask me that question about am i not scared about scaring men away they really subscribe and normally it's men that actually ask me this they subscribe to this notion that women live for the acceptance of men and so when they come across somebody like me and i'm just like no that can't run with me no if i want to talk about sex sex we all have sex we all enjoy sex we all got here how we got here via sex why is it okay for somebody else to talk about sex simply because they have a penis and because i have a vagina i cannot talk about it that comes down to the notion of sex being something to be taken from women sex isn't something that should be enjoyed sex is something that men do to express themselves women cater to men that's all we do we just cater to men sexually it's not something that we should enjoy it's not something that we should freely talk about it's not something that we should what's the word it's not something that we should own like we shouldn't own our sexuality that's where that thought process comes from so when men like that ask me aren't you scared it's because they believe that women basically build their whole lives wanting to be accepted by men we basically build our whole lives wanting to be chosen by men we basically build our whole lives wanting to be picked by men like we are fruits everything that we do is so that we can basically capture men's eyes and then obviously society maybe not so much now but even so it has been heavily ingrained of what femininity is you should be softly spoken you should be seen but not heard you know you can voice your opinion but you shouldn't be too opinionated you can be ambitious but you shouldn't be too ambitious because you might you might scare your potential guy i'm not trying to attract a guy that's gonna feel some type of way about me being a go-getter. I'm not trying to attract a guy that's gonna feel some type of way about me being confident within myself. I'm not trying to attract a guy that's going to have an issue with me having a podcast or me being a YouTuber or me having a certain amount of subscribers or followers, no. I'm trying to attract a guy that is on my level, a guy that gets me, a guy that I have a connection with, a guy that is going to motivate and encourage me to be my absolute best version of myself and i will also do the same for him so therefore it really it's really mind-boggling when i'm asked such a stupid question because men don't get asked this question when you see men doing what they do whatever the hell it might be that they're doing never is a man asked are you not scared about women being afraid of you no because it is quote unquote the norm it is the quote unquote the norm for men to be able to truly be themselves because why they will get a woman anyway <laughs> but the thing is in my world i will eventually come across that person that is truly for me and they're going to truly be for me because i'm not going to have to tone myself down in order to get them i'm not going to have to pretend to be something that i am not in order to get their interest i'm not going to have to second guess if that person likes or doesn't like me because i will know why because i believe in manifestation and i believe that i can truly get whatever it is that i desire period and you know what it reminds me of a story that i read a couple months ago it was something along the lines of there was basically this woman and she was really interested in this guy 
so she would do things like cook and clean all the time and she would do all these domesticated duties and he was basically so wild by the fact that she would take care of him that he eventually proposed so he's proposed they now have their wedding they now get married about two months into the marriage the woman decides she can no longer be bothered to be cooking and cleaning it's not that she can no longer be bothered it's that she doesn't like doing it she doesn't like cooking and cleaning all the time however she just did all of this just to secure the ring and now that she's secured the ring she's now like no i can't live my life like this fair enough i'm a woman but i do not like to cook and i do not like to clean and so now her husband does not understand why is it that all of a sudden she is no longer cooking or cleaning the reason for that is she wasn't being true to herself to begin with she felt that she had to pretend to be something that she isn't in order to secure the ring which indeed she i guess maybe she had to do that in order to secure him but had she had just been true to herself been patient and waited she would have eventually attracted somebody that would have laughed and accepted her exactly as she is and also i'm gonna use this time to also say that cooking and cleaning it's not a duty that it's only women that should do. Cooking and cleaning is something that everybody should know how to do. We all eat. Every single one of us eats. We all should be able to also clean. So where this whole notion of, you know, women should cook and clean and men just, you know, sit around and do nothing comes from, it's absolutely beyond me. Some people are fine with that and that's cool. Different things work for different people. I'm not cool with that and I voice this all the time. And every time I've voiced this opinion, I've had men say to me, well, you know, a guy not cooking is not that deep. No, it is that deep for me because I do not want to be slaving away in the kitchen 24 sevens. That is not my idea of happiness in a relationship. I love the idea of having a partner that can cook for me. I love the idea of me living with my partner and I've come in from a long day from work or whatever it may be and they've managed to prepare me a beautiful home cooked meal. I don't understand why when me voicing out the fact that I want a man that can cook is always seen as, oh, it's not that deep though. Like cooking is not, you know, like what's wrong with you doing all the cooking all the time? That's where the issue is. Other people, especially I've noticed quite a lot of men that don't fit into your particular standards, always have the most to say. They always want to belittle your requirements. They always make it seem like you're asking for too much. But in the grand scheme of things, you're not asking for too much. That person isn't for you. That person does not fit into your standards and that's perfectly fine. Do you know why? Because there are many other people on this planet that will fit into your standards. So ladies, if you are opinionated, if you do have standards, if you are active on social media, tweet whatever the hell you want to tweet. Post whatever the hell you want to post. If it's pictures, post how you want to. You want to pose in underwear and you're confident to do it, do it do it forget this whole notion of oh it's not wifey material to do x y and z listen who cares if that particular man thinks that you're not wifey material because you have a couple of bikini photos on your instagram that is lost you will meet somebody else that is confident within their own skin and is not bothered by such trivial things such as a confident woman that owns her body and owns her sexuality that's basically all that i came to say today i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i really do hope as well that you guys are enjoying my chit chat videos because i'm enjoying it i'm enjoying being able to express myself fully because listen us women we cannot come and suffer just because of men no we need to live in our truths we need to be happy in everything that we do because i sincerely believe that happiness is everything when you are truly happy in yourself when you are truly happy and confident in your skin when you truly know yourself you will feel happiness happiness will just ooze from within and you'll be able to attract what is for you period but yeah until my next video take care be good see ya